you know, we have, um, because of the climate here in America, we have a lot of our people who are looking to repatriate to somewhere on the continent. I know okay. you've been to so many places. You also lived in Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us about your experience in Egypt? And how oh, did yeah, you end was... up in Egypt? How did I end up? So after I left Ethiopia, um, I had gone back to Atlanta and I was only there for a few months. And through someone from Nomadness, um, a fellow traveling buddy, was like uh well you know he saw a post he had actually come to visit me in Ethiopia so like we had traveled together and everything um but he hit me up and he was like hey I just saw somebody that posted a uh something in the tribe saying that they're looking for a position to be filled you know it was another it was a teaching uh position and he was like I know you're ready to go back already I know you're ready to go back to Africa and so I was like, you must have been reading my mind because I was sitting there like, where else am I about to go? Because this ain't it. But um, I'm telling you, like, I, after I moved away from America, I was like, nah, I'm good. You know, yeah. now that I dip my toes and, you know, in some other waters, I'm like, okay, I'm comfortable. You know, I know I'll be good. I'll figure it out. Exactly. You know, it's, it ain't no worse than it is there. You know what I mean? Even like little ups and downs is just learning curves, you know? Because I moved from California to Atlanta and didn't have family there. So yeah. what's the difference, you know? Yeah. So, um, go ahead. No, go ahead. So, you know, I know a lot of people, they feel like, oh, when I move, I need to have so much money. I need to have, like, all of this experience or I need to know somebody. I need, like, mm -hmm. it seems like you were just more of the mindset, like, I'll figure it out. And yeah. just kind of like up oh, and let's go. So right. how um for the people who are, you know, they're kind of nervous about moving, especially to a place like on the east side of Africa. I think most people kind of look to the west side of Africa, but mm -hmm. the east side of Africa, I believe, is um as big of an option as the west side of Africa. Definitely the south side of Africa. So what yeah. would you what would you tell someone who is like, well, I don't know if I can move to Egypt? I mean, it, honestly, anywhere. You can live anywhere. If you've been in America, if you lived in America, you can live anywhere else. Right. It's not like it's places in America where it's like, well, I don't know. You know, if you're moving from somewhere else, like, well, I don't know if I can if I can live here. I don't know. You know, so it's right. not. The thing right. is that I try to explain to people like I show them. Like, even through my travel pictures and stuff, I show them the good, bad, the ugly. You know what I mean? Like, it's not one, you know, I don't try to make it like a it's fairy tale or right. something. Yeah, you can show that you have different experiences because all it is is that, you know, you just have to adjust. And I, I think it's beautiful. I think that we still have, we have privilege just being American. Just when being American. Are actually, even if we blend in, like, you know, because a lot of people ask when I was there, what when I was in Egypt and in Ethiopia, they would ask, you know, some people would assume that I'm local right. until they saw, like, you know, my tattoos or something. But, like, um, I think that it's, it's a different experience for us as, as African people from America, like, to experience the privilege that we... Like we see other people, like white people in America having a certain type of privilege, right? right? We right. can go somewhere else. Like it's a certain freedom that it grants you that I think is important for us to also feel. Not like, not carry it like you're better than anybody, right. but to right. finally not feel like you are just the at the bottom, bottom of the barrel. Right. Yeah, you don't, you know, and I think that's important because that was my, I was saying that and it felt very similar to like when I went to Clark Atlanta, like going to a HBCU, finally, I'm not just a number, you know, I'm, I'm actually, I feel seen. There are other people, you know, I can relate to my teachers, my peers, you know, and I think that's an experience. At some point in our lives, I feel that we need to all have that experience of being amongst like people that just look like us, you know what I mean? And it gives you, you do start to feel like a little bit of that specialness sometimes it's not always like 
you don't always right. want to stand out. Like I, that's why I said I wanted to be like a local because I didn't want to stand out. Like I bark, I still when I go to the market or wherever, I'm still bargaining yeah. my price. Yeah. Like you ain't about to give me like a tour. I know that's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, you know, like okay, yeah, I'm, I know I'm foreign, but you know, we you ain't got to hey, you ain't got to do me like that. They gonna be like exactly. They gonna be like my sister. I'm like yeah, I'm your sister, right? Exactly. <laughs> So, um, you know, but anyway, so I don't, I don't try to, you know, I never, whenever I travel, I don't care wherever I'm at. I don't try to like hold my, you know, passport or, you know, my nationality anywhere, you know, like try to use it as a privilege, but you will notice that you do get privileged because of your American accent, because they know where you're from. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and so I think, but that's just to say that you are kind of, it's like a, safeguard in a way like so that you won't be treated you know right very poorly you know because right. people think that you know you just have more security if you are American you know what I mean like you got an embassy that you can go to and you know or you can reach out to your people you know I don't know it's just it's like an assumption that a lot of people abroad have a lot of people outside of America um have about Americans but I think that's for more on this video please click the link in the description below. Thank you.